Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to give you a short introduction to the instruments used for septoplasty surgery. So these are all the instruments lined up and the first one is the thudicum nasal speculum. It is used for anterior rhinoscopy. We use it in the beginning of a septoplasty operation for inspection, for giving suction, for giving uh, decongestant drops and packs and also it helps us to give the injection of local anesthesia and giving our first incision over nasal septal mucosa. And this one is the freer double-ended mucopericondrial elevator. After giving incision, we use it for raising the mucopericondrial or mucoperiosteal flap. It is also used for fracture of the inferior turbinate. Then this one is the Killian's long bladed nasal speculum. This Killian nasal speculum has different size of blades and this one is the long bladed Killian's nasal speculum. After raising the mucopericondyl or mucoperiosteal flap, we insert it into the nasal cavity for our instrumentation purpose. It helps us for proper instrumentation within the created space. It is also useful for packing the nasal cavity and during giving quilting sutures over the nasal septum at the end of the surgery. Okay. And this is known as Heyman turbinectomy seizure. This is turbinectomy seizure. This is used for total or partial turbinectomy purpose and it also helps us to cut the septal cartilage. Then this one is the lux forcep. The lux forcep is used for taking out the cut cartilage pieces and it also helps us to take out uh, any bony fragment, any uh, debris or blood clot. Its another use is for taking punch biopsy from any nasal mass or from oral cavity mass. This is known as tilly nasal gauze. Look, this is bayonet shaped tilly nasal gauze, bayonet shaped, and at the tip it is V shaped. It is V shaped for engagement into the maxillary crest, and it is bayonet shaped for better visualization. It helps us to remove the maxillary crest and septal spark. This is known as heath mallet. This looks like a hammer and it is used over the gauze like this. First, the V-shaped tip of the gauze is engaged into the maxillary crest, then the mallet is hammered over it with the movement of the wrist only, like this. Tuck, 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 with swift movement of the wrist. This is known as Tilly forceps. It is used in ear and nose for packing, unpacking of the ear or nose, for removal of clot, debris, foreign body, and it helps in anterior nasal space packing. This is a size 8 nasal sucker suction tube. It is useful for septal surgery. And this is known as a suction elevator. It is also called septal aspirating elevator. Look, uh, it is like a Freer's elevator, but it has a side port for suction of blood and secretion. So it has the advantage of uh, suctioning the blood and secretion during elevation of mucopericondrial or mucoperiosteal flap. So this is the suction elevator or septal aspirating elevator. And these two are Merosel nasal pack. I open one of it. This 
this is marrow cell nasal pack it is a biocompatible pack which is given at the end of the septal surgery and also we give it for epistaxis and this helps us for atraumatic nasal packing unlike uh, the conventional uh, gauze packing we can keep it for more than 48 hours so that's all thank you for watching